And All right, welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Now we are heading across to Tobago, virtually at least. And this morning, I'm going to be speaking with Sheena Devines, who is the marketing coordinator for the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. And first off, well, congratulations. Tobago um, has just achieved its 100th mark milestone with the Safe Travel Stamp, um, you know, um, with the Tobago Tourism Agency. Yes, that's definitely a milestone for us. And we're looking towards increasing that even more. And that's why we found it prudent to really launch this mass one campaign because it was really a rallying call for us to continue and stay and stay the course to commit to safety um, right. as we also recover from the pandemic. Yeah, that's right. And the uh, road to recovery would be long and hard, I would assume. But Tobago is on the right track. And yeah. uh, you are now launching the Mask on Tobago contest. Tell us about it. So, you know, when we achieved the 100th um, property or stakeholder having the safe travels um, verified stamp, we found it prudent, as I said, to make sure that people continue to stay the course. And we wanted stakeholders, all our partners, to share what they are doing. Because um, I was listening to the conversation a little earlier. I um, mean, you know, so there's a bit of pandemic fatigue. People are getting exhausted with the pandemic, and we really have to make sure that we collaborate. Right. So it's a, a rallying call for us to stay the course, and it starts with wearing your mask. It really started us collaborating and working together to make sure that we stay safe and commit to safety, because you know that's how we will get out of this pandemic successfully. For sure. And so, how are you going to encourage uh, visitors to Tobago, um, including Tobagonians, um, about? you know, keeping their mask on, on hand and, you know, um, in whatever way they're in, engaging in tourism and whatnot and enjoying the things to be enjoyed in Tobago. How do you, how do you plan on encouraging them to keep their mask on and keep the practices um, going? Yeah, well, it's, it has to be a labor of love. It's not just us alone. You know, we have to work with all the relevant organizations. Right. But we are doing our part and the stakeholders are really trying their best. You know, we have been making spot checks and a lot of these stakeholders have successfully incorporated you know the safety protocols into their business they have branded masks they're making sure that they make it so fluid that you don't feel like it's it's taking away from the experience so the mask on is really for stakeholders to share those stories to visitors to share those images of what the experience was like to you know reinforce and create a footprint that you know it's not all gloom and doom you can still interact you still can go out and do so safely Oh, yes, definitely. Let's speak now about the uh, the hundredth mark designation. You know, the you've just surpassed the hundredth business in Tobago receiving that uh, safe travel stamp. How important yeah. is it? It's extremely important. You know, um, since we've been, it's almost been a year. It's been a year actually since we've been locked down. And I think one of the great things of being in this pandemic is that we're sharing so much more. Um, so a lot of the research and the meetings and connections we have globally. There are two trends that remain true. Visitors are looking for a safe destination and they're looking for a destination that they can connect with experiences that are sustainable. So, you know, having this 100th mark really puts the big at the forefront of that traveler that is looking for a destination that is taking safety very seriously. So we continue to push the safe travels um, manual and implementing it in the businesses. And the mask one is just, you know, to make it interesting and, you know, share what you're doing because we, we're doing it on the ground, but the evidence, the social proof definitely needs to be there. So it works hand in hand. So all of this is working towards building a reputation for safe travels and to encourage more of our partners to buy in to safety for the reputation of the destination. Definitely. Wonderful. And uh, are there any statistics available right now? to uh, show how the businesses have benefited from receiving the uh, safe travel stamp? No, it's just anecdotal at this point in time, but we continue to build out the content. And that's why this mask one is extremely important. Because you know, when we connect with travelers locally and internationally, they're hearing about the safe travels, but they need to see evidence of the safe travels. Um, but I can definitely say some businesses, I, we've been to Adventure Native Farm and they've done a wonderful job of implementing safety in their business and there were families there, you know, feeling safe and comfortable to interact with the experience. Um, Le Grand Poland also has done a really great job. So a lot of stakeholders are doing it and, you know, we'll continue to build those stories, but it's early yet. There's so many businesses in Tobago that rely on travel and tourism. So a right. hundred is just, 
you know, starting point. So as we move forward to 200 and 300, we can definitely see that there will be a, a incremental change and a big change in, you know, the psyche and the return on investments of investing in safety. And uh, how do interested businesses and, uh, you know, service providers within the tourism industry in Tobago, um, you know, how do they get involved and receive that, that safe stamp designation as well? So it's pretty straightforward. Everything is online, you know, so we've encouraged them to go to the website because we did quite a bit of consultations in building out Emmanuel. So they're pretty aware of the contents of it because they were part and parcel of building out that manual. So once it is, they go to the manual, implement the measures that are recommended, and then apply for it, and then we do a spot check to make sure that they're actually following through on that. And that's basically it. So it's, it's relatively straightforward for everyone to apply for the safe travel stamp. Oh, yes. So the, the key is in the simplicity of it, surely. Now, yeah. this, this is an international designation, um, and unfortunately, our borders are effectively closed. So how is this going to um, affect domestic tourism when it comes to, uh, you know, visitors coming from Trinidad across the Tobago? I mean, it's it's good for us. I mean, you are just talking about a long weekend. There's a, it's also a catch-22 in, in some instances. But, you know, as locals, we are our best storytellers. Mm -hmm. So despite the fact that the borders are closed, locals are still interacting and traveling and having experiences on island. So, you know, and we have to do so safely. We went through a spike before right. and there are concerns about, you know, how we move out of this pandemic. So we really have to collaborate to make sure that even though the borders are closed, we still want to do things, we still want to go places, we still want to interact, but we need to do so safely. So the safe travels, the World Travel and Tourism Safe Travels Manual and implementing the guidelines is relevant to every single person, regardless if you're local or international. How do you balance, uh, you know, the designation and the need to be safe with mm -hmm. our culture? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a cultural change, but I think, you know, we're optimistic with, um, you know, a businesses doing their part, because as I said, there's some great examples of businesses implementing their safety. We've actually created a page on our website that illustrates, you know, what businesses are doing and their testimonials in terms of what the experience has been like in terms of implementing the safety guidelines to make sure that, you know, we are our best advocates and we are our own benchmarks. So yes, we can look to international examples, but there are businesses locally that have been doing pretty well. And we've created a section dedicated to that to make sure that there's buy-in and support. And, you know, for us to hold our hands together to make sure that we get through this and support each other with safety. Now, Trinidad isn't as um, keen on tourism as Tobago is, um, but how can, what lesson can Trinidad take from Tobago when it comes to the tourism industry and also toward making tourism safer? I mean, while Trinidad, there's a thought that Trinidad is not as big as in tourism as Tobago, they have their own type of tourism. I remember I was in Trinidad a few weeks ago and I thought Hyatt was doing an exceptional job with their safety uh, mechanisms. And I know they, the Trinidad tourism has been working with CAFA to make sure that their stakeholders implement their safety measures. But domestic tourism is also thriving in Trinidad. I heard one of the guests talking about going to Mayaro. So as much as, you know, there's a thought that, you know, Trinidad is not as big on tourism, there is a big domestic um, tourism market, both in Trinidad and Tobago. And I believe it's Trinidad tourism is working with CAFA, you know, to make sure their stakeholders are getting the necessary protocols implemented and whatnot. So it's, um, you know, just the direction each of us is taking. We're working towards the same end. Definitely. And with that, I want to say thank you very much and congratulations once more on the work that the Tur Tobago Tourism Agency is doing. And uh, I want to say thanks so much, Sheena Devine, Marketing Coordinator for the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited. We now go to the top for the news at 7. We'll be back with the second half of the show after that. Stay with us. Nice.